Jack and his mother were so poor. They never had enough to eat. One morning, they had nothing left at all. You'll have to take the cow to the market and sell her, Jack's mother said sadly. On the way, Jack met a strange little man. I'll give you these for a cow, said the little man, holding out five wrinkly dried beans. I need money, not beans, said Jack. Show him. Ah, uh, but these are magic beans, said the little man. If you plant them, they grow into a beanstalk, so tall it touches the sky. Amazing, said Jack. He gave his cow to the little man, took the beans, and ran off home. When, but when he got home, he was in big trouble. What have you done? Jack, we need money, not beans, cried his mother, and she threw the beans out the window. Poor Jack went to bed, hungrier and gloomier than ever. What were they to do? In the morning, even his room seemed gloomy. His room seemed gloomy? Just a minute. Outside his window was a giant beanstalk, so tall it touched the sky. The little man was right, thought Jack. He scrambled onto the giant beanstalk and climbed up and up and up. And there at the top he found a giant castle with a giant with a giant in front of it. Jack gulped, then his tummy rumbled. Excuse me, he called. He got out. Please could you spare some breakfast? The giant picked him up. My husband munches and crunches little people like you, she said. I'll give you breakfast, but you better be gone before my husband gets home. She whisked Jack inside and set him down next to an enormous crusty loaf. Breakfast has never tasted so good. Mmm! But then, stomp, stomp, stomp. Quickly, quickly, hide in, hide in here. The giant stuffed Jack into the, in a pot just as her husband strode in the kitchen. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead. I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Where is he? demanded the giant's husband. You're imagining things, she replied. Eat up your breakfast while I bring your hen. She returned with the hen and put it on the table. Lay, commanded the giant. Clink, the bird laid a gleaming golden egg. With a grunt, the giant closed his eyes and began to snore. His wife lifted Jack out of the pot. Run for your life, she whispered, but Jack had his eyes on the hen. He grabbed the hen and fled for the door. The bird let out a squirrel. which woke the giant, who saw Jack and let out a furious roar. Jack dived out the door onto the beanstalk with the giant hot on his heels.
Jack scrambled down the beanstalk as fast as his legs would carry him. What's going on? shrieked his mother from de below. Is that a, a, a giant? Just bring the axes, Jack cried. Jack and his mother chopped and chopped at the beanstalk. It creaked and it wobbled. <clears throat> then it toppled over sideways. The giant was flung far over the hills. They never saw him again. <clears throat> As for Jack and his mother, they lived happily ever after. Each morning, the hen laid a golden egg. So they grew rich and Jack never climbed a beanstalk again. You're supposed to show the picture. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, it is. The end! The end! Bye.